that on? Am I supposed to hit my camera lens like that or is it gonna break it? I don't know. Anyway, what's going on you dirty old stash bags? It's me again and uh, I'm fishing with that again, but I'm gonna beat him to the next spot and uh, I'm gonna fish without him. He did the same thing to me in the last video if you haven't watched it. Go watch it. I'm gonna meet him somewhere. He's gonna take a little bit longer than me. I'm gonna go down and see if I can't catch a quick fish or two. We're gonna be fishing a dirty old running creek today. Just my specialty is all of you know. If you're new here, I like fishing creeks. I like fishing spillways. I like fishing puddles. Lakes scare me. But anyway, we're gonna go down. We're gonna throw a jig around. Probably just gonna fish for bass. Been doing a lot of bass fishing lately. I took some time off from it, but I've been doing it lately and it's been a good time. So I'm gonna take down the old jig. If I can't get nibbled in a little dirty urban creek, that's literally right under the road. It's literally under the road in the middle of the city and it's filled with trash just like every other spot in Nebraska. But under that trash, usually there's some fish and usually some pretty decent ones. So come along with me. Let's go see if we can papow some dirty old trash fish in the face and stuff. Okay, let's go. All right, well, Dad had to take a little poopy. So I'm gonna see if I can finish off this video off the side of the road or something. Doesn't look bad. Definitely could look worse. Definitely some bluegill. Got one. First cast. Big in. Well, not a big one, but a big one for a creek. And definitely a pretty one. This fish is cold, and that's exactly, exactly why he's here. Water's cold, coming through this creek. Water in the lake, hot as balls, because it's summer. And yeah, just like us, they want to find a way to cool down. And moving water is the best way to do so. Staying in the water is really the best way to do so six inches of water, hybrid jig fish. I feel bad now, I should've waited for dad. I didn't really think this would go well, but I guess I was wrong, because that was instant. Might have to go check the other side of the road or throw my jig in a tree. Good casting, bud, good casting. Oh, one just chased it. I don't know if you guys could see that, but one just literally tried to chase it. Looks bigger too. Oh my God. That was badass. I watched him come up the first time, and then I watched him eat it the second time. Barely got him. Solid fish for a little creek. People walking over. Oh, pow. Sweet. This is what I'm talking about. Screw that pond stuff. All I need is myself a little creek. I'll be happy. Creeks and stuff. Old inbred jig does it again. Discount code stash. I'm saying that too much. Do I even have to say it anymore? Everyone knows what my discount code is. Go get some inbred jigs. They're juicy. Those are big fish for this small of a creek though. That's the one thing I like about creeks, is I can catch small fish and call them big because in a little creek like this, they are big. Might have to work our way down, work our way to the other side of the bridge. Something like that, but we got options. The day is still young. They're literally only sitting right there. As one splashes over there. That might have been a bluegill though. But they're literally only sitting in that one little pocket directly in the current. Well, while we're waiting for dad, I guess let's walk through this tunnel and see what happens. Hopefully something other than me falling in. Ooh that right there is chilly, boy. I don't have the highest hopes about up here, but worth the dangle, I suppose. Bit deep. That was a fish. I thought I hit a rock, but it kind of felt like a fish, and then my trailer was pulled down. Pull my skirt down. Skirts don't just fall down. You gotta pull them down. Well, I believe I got a bite in the crazy little tunnel thing, but I don't know, because I thought it was a rock. Let's see what's up. Let's see what we got for artwork. 
feel like I'm at an art gallery. Hopefully I don't get shot down here. Would you guys be sad if I got shot? I know I would be. I think Boo would be too. Lamb shithole creek if I've ever seen one. Seems like a good place to light off fireworks though. Mm, let's see if we can catch one more down here before dad gets here. Hi, I got a bite up that way. Yeah, I caught two right here. They weren't very big, don't be sad. I asked you if I, if you, if you're fine if I fished without you and he said yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding, they weren't that small. They were probably like three pounders. <laughs> back to back. So what, do you want to keep working down the creek? All right, let's see if we can catch a couple more in this creek. And then we're going to a spillway, my favorite. But I don't know why I'm talking about that because that's going to be on a different video. How was your poop? Not good. <laughs> Have you caught him up here before? No. No. Walking bait? Oh, I just had one. I'm an idiot. Got him. Dropping the hammer on him. He hit it twice too. Cool, little creek bass. You wouldn't think he was in the trash pile. And there's either two of them or he ate it twice because I screwed it up the first time. There, <laughs> that's a better one, but heck yeah. That's big, man. That's sweet. Yeah. What you got there, Billy? I got. Uh, a car? No, that's a bass. I, mean, I thought it was a carp at first, but I'm pretty sure you can tell it's a bass because it's. Got I don't teeth. know. I, I saw a picture of one once, but. <laughs> According to me on Instagram, me, it's a pike. Yeah, it's, it's a pike. <laughs> that's exactly right. But yeah, out of the dirty stuff. The water's colder in here. That's probably why they're here, would be my guess. I would say so. I was walking through it over there and it was a little chilly. <laughs> it would have been a good release. It, it had potential. It had potential. That's the water was... He'll live. So we've had three bites in this one tree. Yep, there he goes. I can see him swimming back. He's going back to it. Oh yeah. I'm gonna catch him again. Do it. Plop it right, right on now. his head. Good job, Dad. We just gotta find log jams and stuff. I thought yours was real big at first. He's got a big frame. Yeah. Summer fish. You having fun in the creek yet, Dad? Ah, shit. Ah, there's some down here, bud. Uh, I don't know, it's about 20 feet to the right. Very well could have been the same one. Once again, I missed him. Gave him a little break. It's a nice one for a little creek. Not gigantic, but you see something that big? Decent sized head. He got in there. Oh, time for surgery. Maybe. He's got somebody else's hook in his mouth. Could just leave it, but pretty good at getting him out. Thought he had like a bluegill in there, but nope. Definitely someone's Senko or something of the sort. I'll get you back, bud. You'll be better off without a hook coming out of your stink hole. Pliers for once. Let's at least get rid of the Senko or the giant worm. But here's a little bit of a demonstration. You got the hook in there. Reach in the gills. Oh God, he's sucking it down farther. Don't suck it down farther, bud. It's gotta be kind of gentle about it. Get it out the gills. Back it out, easy as that. Get him back quick. He should be better off without a hook in him. But yeah, when they have it down in there, you see it sticking out. You just push this side out the gill, so this is gonna be sticking out the gill plate. And then you just grab the back of the hook and back it out and they're good to go. This hook ain't even that old. Still sharp, and I got a new hook. I don't really want the worm though. 
I ain't gonna throw it away either. Oh. Creeks and stuff, saving fish and things. Maybe, who knows? Maybe that was worse for them than just leaving it in there, but I prefer taking them out myself. They definitely seem to be rolling through in packs. Maybe not in packs, but they definitely seem to reload because I've caught fish here already today or at least got bites and then that seemed like a different fish. Could be wrong though. Cool little creek and stuff in the middle of the city. Ba pow Well, you dirty stash bags, I think it went pretty well and this is the kind of shit that I live for. Dirty little creeks, bank fishing, hiking through the tall grass in the woods and the spiky thorn bush things. Actually, those last couple parts I could probably live without, but it uh, uh, feels good to get into the bass again, but I don't know. I like going for other species most of the time, but throwing bass in every once in a while never hurt no one. And uh, laying the wood on them with the old jig rod is one of my favorite things to do, right behind laying into them with the old frog rod. But yeah, I gotta go find Dad. We're gonna fi fish a spillway. Maybe that's why he ran away from me is because he doesn't want to fish a spillway, I don't know. But, but yeah, as far as the line goes, I actually think it's pretty cool. I'm gonna link them down below. If you wanna pick some up, use discount code STASH. They believe in me and I'm starting to believe in them. It takes a little bit for me to really like something and so far so good. I uh, was trying to break it when I ripped the fish's head off today and I didn't break it, so. So far it's holding up. Go pick yourself up some line and uh, put it on your spool and rip some dirty piggies heads off. But yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. If you wanna see more creek fishing stuff, more urban pond stuff, comment down below, let me know. And uh, subscribe and things if you haven't already. Definitely appreciate it. Definitely appreciate you guys watching. And uh, yeah, see you on the next one. Okay, bye. Bye.